welcome back to Goodbye Greens. Today we are making a skillet brownie. Uh, now this is perfect in time for Valentine's Day that's just around the corner. Um, a nice little sweet treat. Um, my husband and I normally do not go out on Valentine's Day um, to dinner. Mostly because one, it's incredibly crazy and busy and so you're probably not going to get the greatest of service um, or maybe the greatest of food. It's usually really expensive and Denver Restaurant Week is always two weeks later, um, or it's usually at the end of February, so we end up then going to Restaurant Week instead and kind of celebrating Valentine's Day then, and I usually make something, you know, out of the ordinary for dinner on actual Valentine's Day. So this is going to be our Valentine's Day dessert. It is that. It is dessert. There is um, coconut sugar and also maple syrup in this, so it's not something you want to be eating every single day. Um, it's probably not something that most people would be like, uh, that's not paleo. Um, as, well, that's, that is something that people would say, that's not paleo. It's not 100% paleo. I definitely agree, but it's a nice sweet treat. So for the ingredients, um, you have some unsweetened cocoa powder. Um, some macadamia nut butter. Now, if you don't like macadamia nuts or you prefer something else, you can use almond butter, cashew butter, um, anything else, but um, you have to have some type of ground nut butter. Um, like I said before, we're gonna be using some coconut sugar and a little bit of maple syrup. We have, we're only gonna be using like a tablespoon or so of, um, of coconut flour. And then I add cinnamon, as you know, to pretty much any baked good. Um, and also a pinch of fleur de sel. We're going to be using just a touch of baking soda, um, one egg, and I have um, a tablespoon and a half of coconut milk in here. And then once it's all cooked and stuff, you can garnish it with, I have a little bit of extra um, toasted unsweetened coconut flakes um, left over, so I can kind of garnish it with that. You can also actually garnish it with um, coconut whipped cream. That would be really good. And then the last thing I have, um, which is the most important part, is a mini skillet. And now I have a teaspoon of coconut oil that's melted in the bottom of this. If you don't have a skillet, you can use like ramekins and stuff. Um, the temperature and the cooking time might change a little bit, but I thought this was kind of fun. It's almost, I don't know, sort of like if you go to that restaurant that has like pizzukis and stuff with the homemade cookies. It's kind of my spit on that. So first thing we need to do is make the batter. All right, so the first thing we're going to add is all of kind of more of the wet ingredients. So you can add your egg. Leave the shell out. And your coconut milk. And then we're gonna add our sweeteners. So you have some maple syrup. and our coconut sugar. And now you can whisk this all together. Next we can add our macadamia nut butter and our cocoa powder. You can use a rubber spatula. You want to get all of that out. And the cocoa powder. And now this is the only chocolate, um, you know, portion of the brownie. So that's why we kind of are using so much unsweetened cocoa powder. Then you can whisk this all together. And then now we can add in our baking soda, our cinnamon, and our salt. And now you certainly can leave out the cinnamon if you're not a huge fan of cinnamon flavor. So you have a half teaspoon of baking soda and just a pinch of the fleur de sel and a touch of the cinnamon. You can whisk this together. 
And then the last thing that we're going to add is the coconut flour. And we're gonna add just a tablespoon or so of coconut flour. And then you just wanna whisk this until it is combined. And as you can see, this looks like brownie batter. So now you can take your prepared skillet with your teaspoon of melted coconut oil. We can move this off to the side. Let me swap it with our spatula. And we can pour this into the pan and now you are going to bake this at 325 degrees. Okay, so the skillet brownie was in the oven for about 22 to 25 minutes. Uh, you wanna pull it out when it is nice and kind of firm around the sides and maybe a slightly underdone on the inside. When you would wiggle it, you don't see any movement, but as you take it out, it'll kind of start to slump down a little bit, leaving the crust nice, or um, around the edges nice and crusty and the center really nice and soft and moist. So you can just Take some coconut flakes and kind of sprinkle this around. You can also, if you really wanted to, you could drizzle it with um, some of the coco some coconut cream or add some coconut whipped cream. You could also add, you know, some uh, dark chocolate chips or something like that if you really want to make it indulgent. But so definitely give this recipe a shot for Valentine's Day um, or for any special occasion. Um, your significant other, your kids, um, your friends, everybody is going to love this, um, and it's not terrible for you. It's not completely loaded uh, with sugar or with gluten. So I hope you guys enjoy and I will see you guys next week. Bye.